Good morning, Mission Control. We got a new piece of kit in here. Uh, sorry, it's loud. I got my lapel mic on, but uh, kind of get an idea how loud it is. This is one of the dehumidifiers from Hab One. We have two, and uh, I brought this one in here. And today we're going to be getting the water out. This is a five-gallon bucket, and it is half full overnight. I got to hurry here. Knowing my luck, it would have went into defrost mode. Uh, so, I'm gonna turn this off right now. The humidity here, right down here, is down to uh, 28%. And in the, the upper air here, it's at 40%. So, this, I think, is definitely making a difference. Uh, a large part of what we needed to do with the filament is remove humidity from the air. The air conditioner heater, when it's in air conditioning mode, uh, is a dehumidifier as well. But honestly, we haven't had to use the air conditioner but two, three times this year so far, uh, just because of the outside temperature. Normally, we would have it on almost all the time. So after I found uh, that the material was getting really, really brittle, um, it's not so much, that one's not so much anymore. This is older stuff. Whoa, whoa, don't do that, that's horrible. When that happens, that's bad. So let's see, this one might snap. Okay, so the, the cool thing is, uh, two days ago, before I set this up, if you did what I'm doing right here, it would have went snap. And actually, I had this roll of filament going on the printer. I, I thought I had everything <laughs> dialed in, I thought we had it all set. And it actually started doing the same thing that the black filament did, which was uh, stopping halfway through print. In this case, I actually noticed that it snapped right in the nozzle. So you have your, sorry, in the hot end. So you have your nozzle, and then it screws into the hot end, and then your feed line goes into here. And it snapped right here at the feed line, and it jammed. And had I not seen that, had God not shown me that was the issue, I would not have figured this out. But the filament was getting moisture in it, too much moisture, and it was becoming brittle, which is a common problem with PLA. In addition to that problem, uh, as I had to take apart the hot end to get that blockage out, uh, I found that a bearing uh, had gone out inside of the uh, hot end uh, where the uh, line feed um, mechanism is at, gear is at, device is at, and uh, so I had to fabricate a temporary bearing, get some grease out, fabricate a bearing, and ever since I did that, knock on wood, seemed to be doing all right. You can see behind me here out of the corner of your eye that we have completed some prints, so I wanna show you those today, and then we've gotta get started on work. But I gotta order some new bearings, uh, cause you certainly don't wanna be rolling on a temporary bearing. It seems to be working just fine. And we're gonna keep this thing going. It's already gone back up to 30% in here. It's kind of, we kind of have a, a small circulation here. If I did some more fans, uh, it's just kind of a low ceiling. I have a ceiling fans from Have One. I could put one in here and distribute more air, but I just don't think that's necessary. Uh, so we're gonna kick this bad boy back on. And let me show you the prints. These are turning out nicer. So I actually have retraction turned back on which is a huge deal. I had to increase the uh, printing temperature. And you can see we have a little bit of wispiness here. And that's temp the cause of that is temperature. So I could potentially play around with reducing uh, the nozzle temperature a little bit, but I don't really want to. So this is, uh, this is one of uh, our new nine um, huh. wall interfaces. So you see what you do here is the boxes slide on and then here, these are the screws. So you'd screw this into the wall first. You have your, your lines, your supply and your drain line here. And uh, you can screw this all into the wall and then you just slide your boxes on and off, take them on and off real easy like, and life is good. So we got quite a few of those printed here. We need nine. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need to print two more. There we go. Look at that. That's nice. Those turned out really nice. Oops. There we go. Okay. 
start loading up our next batch of goodness here. I got it all set. Set, yes. And then upload it. Go. Uh, it's uh, the next day, you can tell, different clothes set here. Uh, yesterday, man, I was working, I was trying to work, I should say, and I just crashed. I mean, I don't know if you've ever been there, but people say they crash all the time. I mean, I literally crashed. I just, my body just went, and I was done. I had no energy. I couldn't motivate myself. I had reached my limit. The hay season and everything got to me. I had, like I said, I haven't had a real day off here in a while. So it all just caught up with me, and uh, so I just decided to I watched some Enterprise and uh, took it easy and uh, got 3D printer going. It seems to be doing well on the last parts needed for uh, the grow walls, so we're waiting for those. And today, uh, what I'm going to be doing, you saw me, I was just cutting uh, on the parts that were wrong. Uh, I cut uh, so that we didn't have to buy more uh, for the right stuff. I actually cut what we had, and I hate wasting, even if... I, even if they would have paid for it, I wouldn't want to do it because that would be wasting and, and I'm, I'm not big on wasting. I try not to, uh, not that I've figured it all out. Uh, so I just got done cutting the parts that I needed to cut with the material that I had. So I got those done. And I got some pieces here that we're gonna use. I, I mean, I have more that I could use to do some testing with, but I'm just gonna start welding something randomly together here. <clears throat> we're gonna be using the new uh, bench here. I've already got the ground on it. I put the stainless steel wire and the tri-mix onto the welder. So we're actually going to be getting into welding mode here. And uh, I'm not going to be able to, I've got my earbuds in because I was listening to a book, but when I weld, I like to hear, I like to hear the weld. So uh, I guess I, I just need to, well, let's unplug this so I have a way to walk. Place to walk. 
Uh, we got this. I can reach over here just fine. We're going to need to uh, kick it all on. Whoa, there we go. Trimex is on. Get some power on this bad boy. We're plugged into 240. Uh, and I have settings on here. We're actually going to go with the settings, which I need to go verify something real fast. So I have 0 0.03 wire, uh, stainless steel uh, wire that we're going to be using, and we are going to be using shielding uh, with the Trimex here. <clears throat> So, and I think that is like a, it's like a 14 gauge. So we just need to do all the settings here. Settings. Oops, home, 230, check. Do we got it all set up right? Man, I haven't done this in a while. All right, you're going in the right spot. 0 0.03, yep. I'm gonna go with, I got that gauge. Use the gauge here. Yeah, it's supposed to be eighth inch. So that's 10 gauge. 10 gauge. Should have known that. Okay. Just did that. Yeah, uh, man, this guy's, woo, dirty. Hasn't been used in a while. That looks like it right there. We're set. Gas is on. Gloves. Well, it has been uh, been quite a few months now. Geez, two months, two months or so since I welded last. I was get. I felt like I was getting pretty good at there. Uh, for what I needed to do, I'm, that's not to say I'm a good welder. It's just I was getting pretty good at it. Uh, so I, I felt felt good. Uh, there we go. That looks a little less than desirable there. Uh, so we're going to just try to weld these two together. Just some simple welds here. And uh, go from there, really. Just kind of kind of try to dial stuff in. If I need to, I can cut a few more play pieces and uh, obviously I want to try to minimize that uh, I hate, again I hate wasting so get these welded together and we'll see what we can do here that's good Ooh, wow Come on. I might actually have to go get a real leather jacket here that's rocking I might be a little too hot for that. That seems like we're really, really moving through there. Seems a little too hot. Yeah. That's why we play, folks. And, and I forgot, you, if you're gonna go hot, you gotta tack weld one side, flip it, tack weld the other because you get exactly what just happened here. It peels back and you get it cattywampus on there. got done doing my first four welds I think they turned out halfway okay I'm not I still think I have way too much material going on there so let's grind it down grind mode enabled see what we get here
have to beat it with a hammer a little bit to make sure, but I think that looks pretty good. It's hard to get those corner joints all taken care of there, but I really want to see less material being used because it does need to look good, you know? So yeah, I took the air hose and I blew this whole area out first and I've also swept everything uh, so there's no hay in this area. Oh, that's not bad. We got penetration on there. Uh, there's some spots on this one. There's focus there. Come on, focus, focus. There we go. You see there's a little spot where I didn't get as deep as I should have. Let's uh, get this end, which is really more like a butt weld. Let's see what that looks like. And I should probably get some hearing protection on. Been a while. Yeah. That doesn't look too horrible for my very first time ever welding stainless steel. Looks like there's a slight crack. Let's whack it with a hammer. See what happens. It splits on the Ain't nothing there and that one ain't given. So I'd say that there's a little micro crack starting to show. Let me see if I can get it for you. Oh, uh, it's really hard to see. It's right at the very top. Yeah, it's hard to see. But what that means is that my welding was good enough here. Uh, not that I'm satisfied with the feed rate yet. I really am not satisfied with feed rate. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to cut. I'm going to cut these here, cut them off so I can do two more welds using this, this stock here. Let's get that done. All right. Let's see. You know, maybe I can move this up a little further. I can talk to you under the hood. Under the hood. So we went from what we had to this new piece here which I think I'm supposed to put back together like this. Something like this. All that matters is that we get it welded. I'm going to drop the feed rate down a little bit. I'm going to keep it hot, but I'm going to go a little slow. I'm going to go from 280 down to 250. We're going to see what happens here. No, so, oh yeah, i got to tap it off. Oops. And I'm on grind. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. And I think that feed rate was a little slow, which is why I was popping there at the beginning. And I just did it again. Right, I'm going to crank it back up. Back up. It wants to go even faster on the settings for it. I'm not, I ain't excited about that. It's really loud. I took my hearing protection out because I like to hear the weld. And hear that spitter, spatter, spatter thing. It makes me feel good about life. Not hearing it makes me feel upset. And I like to hear it. All right, I'm not on grind. Are we on box? Nope. I got a good bead. Man, it's sticking out. I'm not really getting good penetration right there in the corner. On the end, 
I'm getting good penetration. I think I gotta, I think. All right, so in the very beginning, there was God, and there was the Word, and the Word was with God. Uh, in the very beginning, I am getting a puddle on top. I'm not hot enough. Crank up the voltage. Where am I supposed to? 22. Make it hot. Make it hot. All right, so our problem is right at the beginning. So we want to start a little over. It's hot now. Oh boy. Yeah, she's really hot. Yes. That is better. It ain't straight down there. But we're headed in the right direction now. So now let's do it this way. Now, instead of going this way with it, I'm going left to right. Ooh. Yeah, when I end, man, oh man, when I end, I'm really good when I'm ending. So you can see the beginning, try not to hit the camera here. The beginning sits on top, all right? But then towards the end, I start getting, as the metal gets hotter, it sits down in there. So we're, Definitely want to weld hot. Let's get the grinder on that thing. See how that looks. Just got done grinding. Let me show you. All in all, that's not bad. Come on. Let's focus. You can see right there, that's a bad one. Clearly didn't fully penetrate on that. And a little bad on that side. Uh, bottom is better. So we got another one to practice with here. We'll get it set up. We want it hot. We definitely want it hot. It's just learning the speed here. Grind off, grind is off. It's all about learning that speed. We gotta get that speed. And we also have to remember to tack one side, but these tacks are so freaking nasty. I, I think we're still spinning too fast. I'll tack you. See, all right, I think I'm just, man, I think that's going just way too fast. Well, I've been welding for about an hour now, just playing. Uh, made a phone call to one of the subscribers and uh, he had offered to give me some pointers. So we cranked up the heat. Uh, my current settings are 260 inches per minute at 24.7 volts and I max out at 25. So I've got it cranked up pretty hot. When I put it up to 25, I actually burnt through the tube. Uh, so I was really hot there. And I'm getting the point, I'll show you a weld here where you can see lots of splatter. I, I, whoa, you need to, you need to focus, just focus. All right, there, you can see the spatter and stuff. I need to clean it better, I think, is what causes that. Uh, but these ones are a lot lower in the metal, and I've ground some of them down. Oh, come on, it just doesn't want to stay focused. Focus, let's focus. Well, you can get the idea there. These are a lot better. And when I grind them down, here's what they look like ground down. You can see one there at the top that I just started grind. Oh, come on. Started grinding. I'm getting penetration. And it's better than good enough. You can see right there. That, that's nice. It looks like a nice weld and I didn't have too much to grind off. 
You can see on the top there, that one looks really good. And it's not too thick. That's a nice weld. I believe that's a nice weld. That's got good penetration on it. And it's not too much material. That's one of the hot ones. And uh, so I've been playing with my speed setting as well. I've, I've bumped up from 250 up to 260. Uh, actually, I have here. Um, <clears throat> so it's 6 p.m. our time. It's time to go get some food, get some supper, call it the end of the day. Tomorrow we're going to come out here, got everything all set up. We're ready to go. Um, drawings are ready. These are my, what we're going to be making, one, two, three, four. Uh, four configurations that we got to build and I've got all the drawings out here all ready to go We got some red lines on them already uh, So tomorrow we'll be able to come out here and we should be able to literally start laying stuff out and Get on it. Do need some more grinding pads. I got grinding wheels, but I don't have grinding pads so I need to get a few more of those Otherwise, we're rets to go. Rets to go We're rets to go Joe. So We'll do that. We're rats to go, Joe. So we'll be doing that. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's great getting back to welding again, back to fabrication. Uh, a little intimidating at first, I'll be honest, just because I've, I've been out of it. But I just remember all the welding I was doing this last winter for LifePod 2. And, you know, the same process. You start off at the beginning. It's kind of intimidating. Don't really know what you're doing. And then you just get into it and you get the settings, you get everything set up and things start turning out better and better. Uh, so I have no doubt that the first one that I do here is probably going to require a lot of grinding, but these welds are better than strong enough for what we're going to be doing. It's what the amount of stress that we're going to be putting these things under is nothing compared to the amount of strength that these welds have. So um, really at this point, it's about how it looks and uh, minimizing material so that I don't have to spend forever grinding because that sucks. Grinding sucks. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. If you really like what we're doing, you can help us out for less, a cost. for less than the cost of a single candy bar per month. You can help us out on Patreon. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian, out.